three, two, one. Today we're going to be destroying this fursuit with this LiPo battery. My name is The Maraday and don't try this at home. So you may be wondering why I'm blowing up this fursuit. Well, over the years of doing what I do, I've been adamant that you shouldn't use LiPos under any circumstances. Regardless of this, I've still seen people walking around with LiPos in their fursuits, thrown into pockets, or even just shoved into fursuit heads like this one. You can get cases for LiPos, but during my tests, which I'll put at the end of this video, they still reach a whopping 2000 degrees centigrade. This is the reason that I only recommend high quality USB battery banks. This is because they use less flammable chemicals, they have a hard case, and they have charged circuitry to protect them from electrical malfunction and physical damage. Today we'll be testing a specific fault that can happen with LiPo batteries whilst charging, but it's really important to know that this could happen with any battery, even good USB battery banks if they've been damaged, or even just if your wiring breaks. So we've got the first suit out there with the battery in, um, and what we're doing here is we're currently overcharging it. So what this will do is it'll cause the battery to fail. But the scary thing is, I have no clue when it's going to fail. So it could fail now or in 20 minutes time. So all we have to do now is wait. And this is one of the really scary things about lithium polymer batteries is that if they've gone bad, you will have no idea when it's going to go wrong. Um, they're just a ticking time bomb. Um, we've currently got a steady 14 volts and rising. I'm imagining it's going to take about uh, 20 minutes. Whoa! Whoa! Action! Action station! Whoa! Whoa! Bloody hell! Whoa! 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 Whoa. Kill the power! So... I was out there putting the, the temperature sensor on and the voltage was way below, like was way within safety levels and it just went. Holy crap. Oh, let's go have a look. Okay, I think everything's safe now. Oh my God, it's, it corched the wall. But look at the fursuit. There is just a hole. There is just a hole where your face was. I mean, look at, I, I think my equipment's fine. My camera is, my camera is gone. That is, it's melted the front off of the lens. That has just completely melted the lens. And my tripod now has molten plastic on it. Like, look, look, the, the eyes, like there are no eyes left. That was burnt out. You would have had flames shooting out of your eye sockets. We as a community have been lucky, nothing more. I've reached out to convention staff and the general consensus is that this hasn't been an issue yet. Please consider this video a warning, and if your local con doesn't have anything in place to mitigate this kind of disaster, please reach out and contact me to make changes before it's too late. As for fursuiters, make sure you only use high quality USB battery banks, keep batteries away from your face and vital organs, and make sure that you can get out of your fursuit quickly when you need to. Please like and share this video and share it with anyone you think might find it useful so we can make this space safer for everyone. Thank you for watching and here's some random footage of me blowing up some more batteries because who doesn't enjoy that? Anyway, that's all from me, Maradi out. Hey, for two smoke, don't breathe this.